All right, man. Uh, Oklahoma getting the front end, beat all them off from breaks, ball joints, <laughs> rotors, the whole nine. And uh, some people around Detroit believe that Jalen Hurts could be the heir apparent of Matthew Stafford. And you did wrong in my Biggie Smalls voice, all right? Let's talk about it. We back. Mercy Sports Talk. We're building. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. That's an absolute terrible pick. Jalen Hurts is not a good quarterback. Jalen Hurts is a run first quarterback. Don't have enough arm talent to 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 come to Detroit and run that offense. They they trying to run with Matthew Stafford. Even even if they dumb the offense down for like you know like uh, Daryl Bevel did for Russell Wilson rookie year. Ain't good enough. Jalen Hurts is not an NFL caliber quarterback. I don't. And if 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 he is, man, people probably want to compare him to Prescott, but I just I just don't see it. And then I, obviously, a lot of people didn't see it with with uh, Dak Prescott. You know what I'm saying? I know Oklahoma came out with two double quarterbacks and Baker and Kyler Murray. Baker looked good last year, not so good this year. And I think it's, it's if you didn't know, Baker Mayfield left tackle is Greg Robinson. And I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure people remember Greg Robinson for Detroit. Absolute terrible uh office alignment. Was a top five pick out of Auburn. It's flaked out with the Rams, flaked out here. So that's his left tackle. If you don't block and you don't run the ball, you know, they got rid of Alex Mack over the years. Just don't have enough O line. And I'm not gonna call Baker Mayfield a bus. You know, if you ain't in the right situation with the right coach and the right system, that's what happened. But for Jalen Hurts, no, nah, the Lions need they need to take a quarterback that they they know they can throw the football you know they got the arm talent they can read the defenses you ain't got to reteach them if anything you take two attack of for tackle to oil i don't know how to say his name two from alabama and you rehab him from two years you know what i'm saying let him get big and strong uh you know and even when he rehab from the hip let's say he rehab from the hip for a year then that following year is all about mental work um, you know, fixing mechanics, getting bigger and stronger in the, in the gym. I, I might, I might keep him for three years. That's on par for Matthew Stafford. If Matthew Stafford decided to retire or fall off after three years, then you or one or two years, then you got Tua. You know what I'm saying? I, I will keep you know Drisco or, or I will bring in the Case Keenum, and I will have Tua, and I'll just be rehabbing Tua, bring, making them bigger, stronger, more durable. You also got the kid from Utah State. You got a kid from Washington. So a lot going to change between now and, and then, but Jalen Hurts, nah, Jalen Hurts is not an NFL caliber quarterback. He don't have enough arm talent, you know what I'm saying? So you want you want to be, you know, the Lions are in the position, and I said and I said this is on the Graham Glasgow video. They're in a position where you can take any player. One player is not going to make this squad. This squad need a total makeover. So they can take a quarterback. They can take a receiver. They can take anything but a tight end, a DB. They can take a linebacker, a D lineman. They can take a receiver, running back, quarterback, tackle, guard, center, or well, other than center. That Graham Glasgow dope. They can take anything else, anything at the top of the draft. You know what I'm saying? But my strategy would be, you know, to my strategy would be to try to rebuild a group, whole, not plug here, plug there. My strategy would be like, okay, I take two offensive linemen in free agency and two in the draft. I'll try to build that group up. You know, look at the D-line. Okay, I may want to take Chase Young. Then I want to I want to find a plugger that can stop the run, you know, in the middle of the defense. And I want to take a three technique that can back up the shine hand. I'm going to take two linebackers, one in the draft, one in free agency. Sure that up. I want to take a corner, another corner. You know, so... They need to build an entire position group. Stop trying to spot build. Build one position group and then move on to the next. But, yeah, Hurts, no, nah, he ain't got enough arm talent. That's that's why they, they down 50 points right now. He made a good throw to the Lamb guy, but other than that, he don't he don't have enough accuracy across the board. He don't have enough intellect across the board. You know what I'm saying? To, to go through the progressions. And, and like I said before, we're we not sure how Lincoln Riley's system going to set up in the NFL or some of the players. Mayfield looking a little bit shaky. Kyler Murray, he looking solid, but we'll see when they get film on him from year one how they make the adjustment to the air raid offense. But, you know, Jalen Hurts, he's a phenomenal athlete. Um, you know, if he do uh, uh, defy the odds, he may be another Dak Prescott. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just don't see it. Even when he was at Alabama, you know, people try to root for him so hard because he a brother. And I understand room for a brother. But when it comes to a quarterback, you don't want to waste an asset, even if it's third, Four, fifth, sixth rounder. 
on a quarterback that you know that's not going to pan out. There's too many options out there this year. But if they want to take a try on them and try to build them up, we'll see how it go. We'll see how it go, but his arm talent ain't there. Unless you're going to do an offense like Lamar Lamar uh, Jackson. He's sturdy, too. Jalen, a big, strong, sturdy brother, too. You know, but maybe he he amplifies your your rush your run game. You know, but to sit here and say you need, you know, be under center, you know, three, five, seven step drop or in shotgun and you ask him to drop back 30, 40 times a game like Stafford. No survey, Bob. He ain't that guy. You know, he's talking about being on time with the out routes and the timing patterns, the digs. You know, he ain't that guy. You want a quarterback, that's that guy. Last year, I liked the kid that the Patriots drafted. I pre, I, pre, I preached him. George did him from Auburn, was the steal of the draft. And I think Bill Belichick eventually going to do big things with him. But you, the kid from Utah State, I hear pretty good. And like I said, I'm a Tua guy. If the Burrow slip or even me, maybe even Justin Herbert, I'm cool with that. If they take Jerry Judy, I'm cool with that. If they take the best offensive lineman, I'm cool with that. They can do whatever they want to as long as they get it right. But, hey. Smart City Sports Talk. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you have a business question, quality response, share video requests, keep sharing the videos. Best way to help out, we gone.